Hi, everyone. Welcome back. So I'm in Spain, Palma de Mallorca, and it's the first time I'm playing in Europe. The first tee is 372 meters, and it's a dog leg to the right. You can kind of see an outline or a fence kind of outlining the hole. Um, so my idea here was to kind of hit it over those trees on the right, kind of at the start of those fences um, with a bit of a fade. So I did a pretty good job. So second shot is 70 yards out. Um, I'm going right at this flag. There's no real trouble around it. Um, so I'm using a 58 degree. And for a 70 yard shot, I kind of feel like I'm going close to halfway back in my backswing. And I hit this one pretty good and right at it pretty much. Um, just a touch long. So it just kind of rolled off the, uh, just the back on the fringe there. So third shot just off the back here. Now the putt here is really downhill and uh, breaking from left to right. So I didn't want to chip it here because it, it would be a really delicate chip. So I thought I'd just have a better chance at putting it. Um, I'd better at uh, distance control, things like that. Still hit that a little bit too long. So I've got some work to do to save par here. All right, managed to scrape a par here. So on to the next. All right, so hole number two, great views in the background here, but this hole is a par five, 487 meters, which is approximately 530 yards. So there's trouble all along the right, a bit of water there. And so my thought process here was to aim a bit left, maybe fade it back in. And I hit a pretty nice drive here. So second shot here, I'm 250 yards out. My idea here was just to hit it down uh, to the opening of the green, just, just to the left of that bunker. So hit this one pretty solid. It was going right at the flag, so I was hoping it would carry the bunker, but I think it just caught the lip of it. So third shot in the bunker, just shy of 30 yards maybe, but there's a bit of a downhill ridge after that lip. So my idea was to land it you know, a bit short, let the ridge take it, um, and have it roll up to the pin. So I hit a pretty okay bunker shot here, not bad. So birdie putt here, up the slope a little bit. Oh, wow. And I was pretty short on that one. So just a little tap in par. So third hole, 350 meters, approximately 380 yards. So the hole is directly over the center of that pond. So the hole does bend from left to right a little bit. But my idea here was to start it over that second tree um, on near the left side of that water with a bit of a fade. So hit a pretty good drive. I thought I might have faded it too much, but ended up being okay. So second shot here, 85 yards out, um, pins near the back. So I'm thinking that I obviously don't want to go long. So I want to land it short and maybe have it one hop and maybe trickle up to the hole a little bit. So I'm trying to land this probably around 75 yards. Hit a pretty good shot, pretty much at it, maybe just slightly right of the flag. So birdie putt here, I've got around 15 feet. Um, so this putt broke from left to right. Um, so I was feeling confident about making this, but just broke more than I thought. So hole number four, 407 meters, approximately 445 yards. So I was just discussing with my buddies uh, where all the trouble is. So they essentially told me not to hit it any much further to the right of those bunkers, um, that far right bunker there. There's a hill that kind of goes down to some trees. So they basically said hit it anywhere except for there. So over faded this a touch and yeah, hits the cart path like my buddy says. So hopefully I'm all right. The car path and bounced 40 meters into the air. I can't wait to see that shot tracer. I got lucky with the bounce there. So I'm about 95 yards out and I got a shot. No problem getting over this tree. I'm using a 58 degree.
and may have tugged that a touch, but still left side of the green. It's a long birdie putt here, a little bit down the slope. Uh, what looked like to me a pretty hard left to right breaking putt. So when I hit this one, I mean, there was no break at all. So apparently on this course, uh, watch out for the greens because it always looks like it's doing something, but then does pretty much the opposite of what you think. A little short par putt. And got it. So on to the next. So hole number five, 196 meters, approximately 215 yards. Now it's really uphill, so and it's a bit chilly out, so it's probably playing closer to 230 yards. So I'm using a three iron here. So I hit this one really nice, pretty much right at it. So look pretty close. So I had a nice shot in there. So putt for birdie about 10 feet away. And I was really wanting a birdie here. And I got it. So finally into the red numbers. All right, so fresh off a of birdie on hole six, uh, par four, 416 meters approximately 455 yards. So this is a nice hole. It's uh, elevated, downhill, um, bends from left to right. So my idea here was to hit it over the corner of that water, kind of over that little bunker on the right. Uh, maybe slight fade. So second shot here, about 137 yards out. Pretty standard, I mean the pin's a little bit at the back, um, no real trouble. So the only thing is that to the right side of the green that slopes down the hill a little bit, but it's all rough. So I was pretty much going right at the flag. And when I hit this shot, I blocked it right. Pretty much going exactly where I don't want to go. So it just goes down that slope. So third shot, a uh, little chip uh, up the slope. So it's gonna launch a bit higher than I think, which is good. Um, it'll help it to land softer on the green. Um, obviously the only mistake here is just to leave it short. So I thought I hit a pretty good chip here. Just running up the hill just to see how close it was. And it ended up being pretty good. So the grind here to save par. And it just sneaks in on the side. So managed to, to save par on this hole. So hole seven, uh, par three, really downhill. So it's 141 meters, so approximately 155 yards. Now because it's so downhill, um, I took off about two clubs, so I'm hitting a 50 degree wedge. So normally if it was a straightaway hole, it would be probably about an uh, easy nine iron for me, but. Yeah, I think because of how severely downhill it is, uh, I think a gap wedge will, will just be able to get there. I hit it usually like 125, 130 yards. So putting off the fringe here. Um, pin was pretty close to that, that first cut. So it was a little bit up the slope. Knew I had to hit it pretty hard because I was going through quite a bit of fairway, but ended up being a touch short in that putt. A little short putt here to save par and just lipped out. Bit disappointed on that one. So bogey. So hole eight, par five, 502 meters. So about 550 yards. Pretty straight away. It's pretty uphill. So not no real trouble left or right. So my thought here was just to blast it. And hit a really good drive here. Might have just ended up in the right side of the fairway there. You you won't reach you won't reach them from here. Well, no, I take that back. You might. I was about to. Would you bet. did you gun it? What is it from here? Two seventy three of the guy yards. Okay, yeah, you could probably you could wow. you could maybe do it. Look at the flip flop. Maybe. Yeah. All right, let's see it. <laughs> All right, there you go. <laughs> go for it, Jonathan, so they can all see you. And I'll be impressed. So I got 273 
yards to the to the flag up the hill. My buddy Ryan says I couldn't do it, so that just fires me up. So hit this one really solid, maybe just a bit left over that bunker. Oh yeah, it got there. That one felt good. Ryan, if you're watching this, it felt good. So for my third shot, it was a bit of a weird one here. So just outside the lip of the bunker, but it's all dead grass, kind of really all sand underneath, really hard ground. Um, I was really debating whether or not to chip this or just putt it. But if I had to putt it, I have to really putt over a lot of a, a fairway and a, a huge ridge there. It's really sloping quite a lot. So this was kind of a difficult uh, situation for me. So I decided to putt this one just because if I were to chip it, my thought was I could chunk this because the lie was pretty bad. And since it was down the slope and sloping pretty severely from left to right, um, the landing spot would be have to be very precise. So I thought I had a better chance of just putting it. A tough putt there. I mean, I hit the, that one too hard. I uh, just wanted to make sure I get past the slope or that, that little ridge. It's a fairly long putt for birdie. I was thinking I still had a chance at it, but just just didn't break enough. So on to hole nine, par four. We're also elevated here, downhill, a slight left to right hole. But this is 388 meters, 424 yards. Um, so again, I just felt like I could just blast this thing, maybe have a slight fade to it. Get a really nice drive here. So second shot had 134 yards in, pretty uphill, pin was at the back. So I hit a pitching wedge. I didn't want to get it all the way back. Uh, maybe want to just leave it a little bit short, but thought I hit a pretty good shot. Was still a touch short, so pretty much middle of the green. So long birdie putt up the slope, pretty uphill again. So I felt like I blasted this thing. So it's just short, had a really good line on it. So onto the back nine, hole 10, par four, 318 meters. So about a 420 yard hole. Um, so pretty straight away, maybe just a slight dog left to right. Um, I, I wanted to just play over the left edge of those trees. So that tree line, I think I pushed it a little bit too much, but uh, my buddy says it's fine. So second shot, just right of the car path. Still had a shot, but I had to go kind of under those branches. You can see the pin kind of just to the right of those bunkers. So my idea was just to hit it um, pretty much right at the flag. Um, so I had to hit a punch nine iron here just to get it under those trees. So just tugged it a bit left. So just caught the slope there and just rolled back into the bunker. So a little short greenside bunker shot here. Felt pretty comfortable over this. Thought I could get this fairly close, give myself a chance at par. And just got it in. A good par save there. I was quite happy on that hole. So hole 11, par 3, downhill, 204 meters, about 224 yards. Since it was downhill, I was clubbed down one, so I was hitting 6-iron. Hit it pretty good, but ended up being a bit too short. My, my buddies were saying that it plays longer than you think, so I should have hit a 5-iron there. So pretty basic chip shot here. And hit this one. Pretty good. Good chance at par. And oh, just didn't break enough at the end. These lip outs really hurt. So hole 12, par 4, 360 meters, about 390 yards. 
So the idea here was just to hit it over the left edge of those trees and hit a fairly good drive there. So second shot, 96 yards, had a 58 degree wedge in my hand, a little bit uphill. And thought I hit it pretty good, pretty much right at the flag. And as I'm walking away, I'm going to say good shot, but little did I know, way short. So long birdie pot here, really uphill, breaking from left to right. And hit a decent putt, pretty close. And a nice little par. So hole 13, 130 meters, had pitching wedge in my hand. Um, also about 144 yards. Did a pretty good shot, just left of the flag, just on the green. Still a good chance at birdie. So left to right slider here. Hit it, and just not enough pace, almost. So hole 14, short par four here, 315 meters, about 345 yards. This is a bit of an interesting hole. Um, so this one, it does wrap around a little bit from right to left. So that tree that's in the middle of the fairway, I was pretty much aiming right at that with a bit of a draw. So since it's kind of, we're elevated, it's downhill, I could get fairly close to the front of the green, but I have to hit a pretty nice draw here. So I hit a really nice drive here, pretty much exactly what I wanted to do. It was kind of rolling up the fairway part near the entrance of the green. So second shot, had about 40 yards here, and I wanted to land it a bit short and let it roll up. And hit it pretty good. Not too bad. Pretty good chance at birdie still. So birdie putt, a little bit up the slope, had a good read on it. And when I hit this thing, it just didn't get there. It was had the line and everything. Okay, hole 15, par five, 524 meters, about 575 yards. So fairly long hole, but it kind of curves off to the right here, dog leg left to right. I wanted to hit it over those trees, but when I hit this thing, it kind of faded a little bit too much. So my buddy says I'd probably be in trouble on the thick grass there. Maybe hard to find my ball, but we'll see. So I managed to find my second shot right in the thick grass there, ball buried. So obviously there's no chance of going for it in two. I just wanted to lay up, just go over that big tree in front of me. I had a 58 degree wedge in my hand. So third shot, had about 160 yards here and had an eight iron in my hand since it was uphill and wanted to have a draw on this thing. Ended up pushing it right, so just off the right side of the green. Birdie attempt, downhill putt. Broke a lot to the left. It's a pretty bad putt. <laughs> All right, grinding for par here. Let's see if I can make this. And, oh gosh, just hanging on the lip, no break. Oh, bogeying a par five always hurts. So hole 16, 442 meters, so around 480 yards. Nothing really special off this tee. I'm just gonna hit it down the right edge of the fairway. So second shot here, about 198 yards. You can see the flag in the background. So to the right of the pin, there's that bunker. And if I were to go over the bunker, it's kind of sloped down. So I don't want to go long here. Um, so my idea was to just hit it left, just slightly left of the flag and let the green or the slope of the green feed it back to the hole. So just pushed it slightly so I think it just caught the bunker there. 
So third shot, pin was pretty close to that front edge and it was sloped down. So I knew I had to land it pretty close to the front edge. I thought I landed it in a decent spot, but still ended up rolling a bit too far past than I wanted. And again, a really good line, but just short. Just can't get myself to hit it hard enough. Hole 17 now. So this one, again, pretty nice hole. We're elevated here. So my idea was to kind of hit it over the left edge of those bunkers that you see on the right side there. It's 328 meters, about 360 yards. So I thought I'd get over those bunkers and fairly close to the green. So second shot, I was about 50 yards out. Pretty standard pitch, just get over that edge of that bunker, obviously. And hit a pretty good shot in here. So birdie putt here, a little bit of redemption. And I managed to get it. So last hole, hole 18, about 364 meters, about 395 yards. So the only trouble is on the left. You can see the those trees popping out. So if I just play my standard fade, I should be fine. And hit a pretty good drive here. All right, second shot was in the right rough. It was 110 yards out and had a 50 degree wedge in my hand because it was uphill and hit it fairly okay maybe just a little bit left of the flag but i thought it was pin high and i obviously had to wait till the last hole to make a putt finally but uh that's it for this course vlog guys so let me know um, again if there's anything that i can improve on in this video um, hope you guys enjoyed it and if you are new to the channel, you can subscribe, leave this video a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys on the next video. All right, so one more birdie putt. Was feeling pretty good over this. And managed to get that. Birdie on the last hole always feels nice.